enjoys them very much. The island of Hanizio has all the charm of an old world hamlet, and it is easy to understand why it has inspired many paintings of great renown. The Tarascans occasionally visit the mainland to celebrate some festival or saint's day, such as the one that is celebrated every year at Sin Sun San, a small village a few miles from Lake Petsquaro, which we now visit. Although most of the Tarascan Indians are devout Roman Catholics, they have not completely abandoned their pagan worship of our Father Sun and our Mother Moon, which was inherited from their ancestors. The Sinsun San religious fiesta does not confine itself to worship. It also provides a meeting place at which the news of the village is discussed and various wares are bought and sold, while local bands and masked dancers contribute to the general entertainment. Contrasting with the natives engaged in the primitive festivities is the Mexican government nurse who moves amongst them quietly applying vaccination serums without charge. The transitions of time have been very slow with the Tarascans, but in this simple scene we may sense something of the progress being made among a primitive people that formerly scorned the medical science of the white man. This dance goes on for hours with little or no variation. But our time is limited, so we will leave these simple folk to enjoy their fiesta while we return to Lake Petsquaro, where the soft reflections of eventide add new beauty to the region and lure us to visit another island before we depart. resisted the onslaughts of civilization. They live in a realm of peace and ask for nothing but the privilege of working out their lives in their own way, even as their forefathers did on these very islands for centuries before the coming of the white man. As with all the other Tarascans, their chief source of livelihood is derived from the fish which they catch in Lake Petsquaro. Consequently, the services of every man, woman, and child are devoted to the fishing industry. The fishermen ply the lake and dug out canoes with unique nets which look like butterfly wings. Mm -hmm. 